sparkling lights, festive nights. For many revelers, Christmas just wouldn't be Christmas without a live tree. But just how much of a toll does this holiday have it take on the environment? It comes down to two options, real or plastic. Let's take a look at the pros and cons of deforestation when applied to trees solely cut for holiday purposes. The following infographic is a small accumulation of facts on either side. On one hand, data point one states that an estimated 33 to 36 million Christmas trees are produced and then clear cut yearly within the US. On the contrary, data point two suggests that these are specialized trees. They are grown and maintained purely for the purpose of the holidays, and thus clear cutting is acceptable. They are selected and acclimatized according in order to require less water consumption too. However, there is an environmental toll regardless. Like any commodity, Christmas trees, or trees specifically grown for Christmas season, rack up tolls such as leaving a carbon footprint. It's in the tradition. It's a, there's a tradition of bringing these natural trees into your house and then discarding them around Christmas time when they're done. They, you know, and so all three things I think are important. You know, deforestation doesn't apply to the Christmas trees I sell. Nor, nor does it apply to any Christmas trees because these things are grown as a crop and not, you know. People just can go out in the woods and get them. There aren't any out in the woods. You've got to grow them. And these trees basically become mulch when you get rid of them. And so, you know, they give, they, they give back. I mean, they're not, they're a natural product. It's entirely different than heating up an oven and making plastic. And, you know, you can't really talk about that as a more efficient model. I mean, that doesn't make any sense at all. So I think natural trees are the way to go. Christopher made two clear points. One, deforestation does not apply to the holiday tree market. False. Two, mulch and sustainable disposal methods are efficient and in wide effect. 90% true. Looking back at our previous infograph on deforestation, let's continue it. There are three main issues at hand. One, high levels of clear cutting. Two, Extinction levels. There are more than 200 species of conifers around the world that face extinction, especially the US. Three, our carbon footprint is 6% higher during the holiday season, mainly due to travel, but also a large part of it are trees being transported. Looking at his second point, specifically mulching as a method of Christmas tree disposal. There are five million trees sent to the landfill yearly, which is a massive amount compared to the 90% that are properly recycled and turned into mulch or other valid ways of decomposing. Now the issue at hand is that trees that are sent to a landfill do not become mulch, nor are they decomposing properly. Landfills are packed so tightly that oxygen, there is little to none, which organic materials need to decompose. With all that has been said and weighed and reviewed, is there a final decision? In my opinion, it comes down to not whether you choose plastic or a natural tree, but it comes down to how you dispose of it and how we treat the environment on a daily basis. As my mother would put it, everything in moderation.